What's up YouTube? I got asked how to make a well-rounded guard. So here it is. You want to go shooting guard. Actually first, if you guys will drop a like and subscribe, I would greatly appreciate it. And so shooting guard, and now the chart that you want to go with is going to be the slashing shooting one, which is mainly blue and green. Uh, and it, it kind of makes sense because that chart kind of gives you probably the most well-rounded stats out of any of the other charts. And then with the physical profile, uh, with this build you're going to be playing guard, so I think the one with a lot of speed and acceleration would be the way. I don't like, uh, like, you know, if I, if I think I'm going to be in the paint and stuff, I don't like going with super low strength and stuff. But I'm going to do it right here because I don't think this is going to be a paint dude. This is going to be more of a guard kind of build, you know, playing above the three-point line. You're still going to be able to drive, but you're not going to be guarding centers or posting up or anything. So, of course, you want to start with your ball handling. You want that maxed out passing accuracy. You know, you got to play, right play around with that, but 77 is the highest you can get to get this name. You go up to shooting. You want that three-pointer to be an 80. Max that out. Mid-range, max that out to an 80. Having an 80 for both of those, that now it's going to make you consistent for mid-range and three right off the bat. Close shot. Now, the best way I found for the finishing, you want close shot to be 77, driving layup to be 77, and driving dunk to be 77. It's weird. I don't know why the game designed it like that, but any, any more, any less, it changes the name, so just go with it like that. Free throw, I was able to get that up to an 82, uh, and you see the shooting badge is looking pretty decent so far. Uh, go down to the defense, perimeter all the way, lateral quickness all the way, steal all the way. That gives you 75, 70s for those, so it's looking good. And then now, to get them well-rounded, you got to start giving, you know, got to give them some rebounding. I was able to get that up to a 67. The offensive rebound, uh, I'll come back to that, actually. Interior defense, you max out, get to 62. I was playing around with the block, but it seemed like 45 was the best way I could do it. And I put the offensive rebounding at 48. So at that point, you know, seven defensive and rebounding badges. Uh, and then I just put the rest on standing dunk to get another finishing badge. You know, the attributes, they're kind of all over the place. And I was really trying to find a way, you know, because I wanted to change some things. I put post moves at 73. But if you want this name, this is how you got to do it. This is the best way to get the, uh, you know, the best way to get your badges, the best way to get your attributes. And basically milk them well around them, which is in the name. So it's looking good right here. I was kind of, I was kind of trying to play around with the block. I was wanting to see if I could, you know, add more standing dunk to get more finishing badges and stuff. Because I, I, I'd be willing to give up a defensive badge for a uh, finishing badge. So I did that. It did actually end up working. So I got three more finishing badges up to nine. Body type, you know, you're not going to be too big, so I just made him built. You know, I didn't choose Burley for once this time. Uh, keep him 6'5", and then with the weight, uh, the weight, you know, the weight doesn't make a difference. But if you want to get, like, the most acceleration without losing, like, strength and stuff, 201 was good. Wingspan, uh, max that out. I know, <laughs> you weren't expecting that. But maxing it out, you only lose three in shooting, which isn't going to be too bad. And then now with the takeovers, you get all these choices. I think playmaking is the way to go with the well-rounded guard. Uh, they buffed playmaking in the last patch. I don't know if you guys know, but playmaking is actually viable now. And it makes you just so fast. So you see well-rounded guard. It looks good. You know, Bradley Bill, he actually is kind of a well-rounded guard. So a good comparison for the first time. Stats are, you know, stats are super balanced. Uh, he's going to be super fast with the ball. You see at 99, uh, which is what you get to. Sorry, guys. Uh, yeah, everything's so balanced. The shooting looks really good. The finishing looks really good. Uh, steel, all that good stuff. So, finishing this build, you know, he gets almost he over a 75 and all that stuff. So, contact finisher, Hall of Fame, of course. He doesn't unlock contact dunks, but you will, you know, get dunks over people just without knocking them down. And if you do go slashing takeover, you will be able to knock people to the ground whenever you go for dunks. So, if you're wanting that, you can go with that. But contact finisher will definitely get you to dunk, you know, through people, over people, and all that good stuff. Fancy footwork to jump around, and Giant Slayer I'm playing around with. I think it'll be good on this build since you're going to be short going against the uh, big men. Now, shooting badges, you can also get Hall of Fame. Quick draw Hall of Fame, you want to be, a, you know, you're going to be a guard. You're going to want to have all the room to shoot. Range extender, shoot as far as possible. Green Machine Hall of Fame, get one green, keep green in the whole rest of the game. And Hot Zone Hunter, if, you know, if you like Hot Zone Hunter, if you can get him. I like it. It gives you a pretty decent boost, but if you can't get hot zones, you can put that on whatever. Playmaking badges now. Quick first steps, always a must, and you're going to be a guard, so you're going to want to be as fast as possible. A little bit unpluckable. Just having that badge on uh, bronze makes all the difference. 
Having needle threader on bronze makes all the difference. Tight handles is kind of like the new like light ankle breaker. It stuns people when you do them behind the back. I always put bailout on bronze too, just because it makes you make. You know, if you're if you're driving and you have to pass out, having that bodge on bronze compared to none, it, it's a crazy. Uh, and then now you can put the last two wherever you want. I put Lob City Passer for now, just because you know I feel like you're gonna have a you're gonna be playing with a shooting center if you want to maximize this. Or maybe one that can finish, so he can cut in if you need to. Now the six defensive badges works perfectly. Clamp Silver's good. Pick Dodger Silver's good, and then you can choose you know any between Intimidate or Pickpocket. All that good stuff. So this is the build. This is the badges I would go with. Uh, let me let me go. Let me know what you guys think of this build in the comments. This is Tonic. I'll catch you guys on the next one. I'm out. Peace.